Listen, brethren, <laughs> listen, I had to step my game up from the previous video, okay, I had to step it all the way up because we are made in his image, I am made in his image, so I need to represent, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Welcome to my 52 week devotional series, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> And I hope that you are able to grow in faith and in spirit and uh, that all your goals are met and no distractions put you down. <laughs> and this is my queendom so today and throughout the year actually <laughs> we are going to be reading the 50, 52 weeks through the bible it's a devotional book um by james merritt i'm just going to share the scriptures that are here and my interpretation of them and we can have a whole conversation down in the comment section, any questions that you have, queries, the works, okay? I found this to be something that is really, really important to me and as such, I wanted to share it with you, so I hope you do enjoy. So, um, there are seven sections in this book. And this is obviously episode one, which means it is week one. Bear in mind that it is a 52 week devotional um, book, so we're going to do this through the year, baby. Throughout the year, alright? Um, and the first section, which we will be unpacking for the next four weeks, is Like No Other. And the first part of it is let's take it from the beginning which is so awesome because it's the beginning <laughs> duh <laughs> the focal scripture in this subsection is genesis chapter 1 verse 26 to verse 27 and it reads as follows then god said let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over the livestock, and over the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. I'm not sure what version this is. Um, but I know it's definitely not the King James Version. <laughs> it's actually so interesting that that was my opening line because I haven't read this. I wanted to experience it with you guys. And I'm actually fascinated and I honestly, I'm a believer in that everything happens for a reason. And um, I also believe in signs, right? And therefore, I think it is no coincidence that that was the first thing I said. Uh, <laughs> wow. All right. <clears throat> no, I would just like to um, give prompts along the video. So the first prompt I I would like us to unpack is what exactly you think um, it means to, to say that you are made in the image of God. Because I know that some people consider it to be a thing that is based on your spirit, based on your soul, and others base it off of your heart. So um, you need to love everyone and cater to everyone because that's something that Jesus would do that is godly, you know. Um, and then um, other people consider it to be physical. And so then the question of race comes into play and the question of the texture of our hair, for example. And and I think it's just a really interesting topic to have. So let me know down in the comment section 
what your take is on being made in the image of God. So the book states that being made in God's image basically speaks to how humans have dominion over all creatures of the earth, how we are basically above the birds, the trees, you know, and so it, it is almost sort of like a superpower, like a special quality in that we can have a direct relationship with God, you know, we have the ability to choose to obey him, to choose to be in his kingdom, to choose to love him. And so that that power is godly because no other creature and no other species for that matter has that ability, has that superpower, you know. Um that's that's what the, that's the takeaway from this passage that we need to consider ourselves as godly because we are sort of like second in command. You get what I mean? Everything about us is godly. The fact that we can control livestock, the fact that we can train animals, the fact that we can um, go into agriculture and, you know, plant. Um, we, we have the ability to do that. Um, those are just a few examples that humans can do that no other creature, no other species can do. And in the fact that we can create, that in itself is godly because um, <laughs> no other species can create. And I think it's so beautiful to look at it in that way because ever so often we focus on the physical, we focus on how we look. Um, in comparison to the next person, right? It's not even uh how does Musi look like Yena Kabu Yena, you know? It's it's about how does Musi look in comparison to her friend, um what size you are, how tall you are, um how dark or how light your skin colour is, your skin tone is and those things have nothing to do with you being made in God's image. That's what I'm taking from this book, right? Um, but if you have a different opinion, you're more than welcome to express it. And I always fancy your comment. I love responding to comments. So please, let's, let's have a conversation on this. I think it can be really fruitful. And I think it can just be sort of like a confident booster in the fact that you have a superpower, you have the ability to create, and yet you are godly, you know, and yet you focus on all these things that have nothing to do with your abilities, that have nothing to do with what you are capable of doing, and I think it is so important that we focus on that, we focus on our inner strength, we focus on the endless possibilities, you know, I think that is what being made in God's image means. We need to, for example, like take the book that we just read, for example, it's a book about creation. And it's so beautiful that that is the first book in the Bible. I think that should always be our point of reference, that we are made in God's image. If God was able to create the world in six days and you are made in his image then what are you capable of what are your abilities what is your superpower and i think that's our purpose finding our superpower you know finding that godly thing in us finding our purpose and i think that is so beautiful um let me know what you what your take is on that down in the comment section and there's just um, a little passage that I want to read from here. And I'd also love it. I really appreciate it if you engage on this as well. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> if you engage on this as well. Excuse me. All right, let me find it. You were created in his image. 
The greatness of this realization, when personalized, is life-changing. It's also the place every Christian needs to start when they think of their assignment here on earth, right? Each of us was carved by God for two reasons. The first and foremost is that we might know, love, and obey God. He desires fellowship with each of us. The second reason is that we each have a calling while we're here on earth. Finding our calling begins with seeing how God has carved us. In what ways are we created to serve him best? I'd just like to go back to that question and use it as a prompt. Please do comment down in the comment section. I'd love to read your take on this. And the prompt is, in what ways are we created to serve him best? Alright, and that just goes back to knowing your superpower. And yeah, I think this is, is actually sort of like an eye-opener for me. Because one of my main goals has just been to work on myself and this is so beautiful in that it doesn't say anything about the physical it's it's so beautiful in the sense that it it speaks on our purpose our value um and i really like that i love that a lot because those are the things that i've been working on the most especially in 2020 because <laughs> wow trials and tribulations keep kept doing this they kept doing this <laughs> you know um but yeah um I'm, I'm glad that i got this book and i'm so happy that i started the series and actually a special shout out special shout out to my friend she got me this um can you see let me flip it like this i don't know which is better um <clears throat> as a bottle and it has a verse on it, Mark 5, verse 36. And since my birthday in 2019, I'm telling you guys, I have been living by this verse. And so, yeah, that's just one of the reasons why I've just been pushing myself to do better and to be better. I hope you do enjoy the series. That's it for episode one. I don't want this to be lengthy. Um, but yeah, talk to me down in the comment section. Let's unpack this. Let's talk about things such as self-esteem. Let's talk about things such as body issues. Let's talk about self-love. Let's talk about confidence. And let's just touch on what that means as a Christian. What those things mean as a Christian who believes or rather actually should know <laughs> that he or she um, is made in God's image. What do all those things mean? Should they even mean anything? This is Mercy signing out. Episode 1 of our 52 weeks through the Bible devotional, devotional book by James Merritt. I hope you join me for the next episode. I hope you enjoy this one. <laughs> Alright. Cheers. All my love.